Spring was getting so late this year that till the beginning of May we had cold days and snow. But May brought the true spring and hot days, letting all the plants burst with life and blossom. May is my favorite month because of some of the major celebrations in our country. One of them is the Victory Day. It takes place on the 9th of May. I traveled to Minsk to get the atmosphere of the celebration. Missed the opening part though, but I captured the entire atmosphere. So let's go and take a look. On the way to Minsk, I was passing through one of the towns crossed by one of the biggest rivers in Belarus, the Dnieper. I was shocked at what I saw. All the nearby low-lying areas were flooded. Some of the houses ended up standing in water. Several kilometers of endless water. That's what's happening every time during spring for the towns based near rivers. Luckily, we don't have this problem. The first days of May turned out to be really sunny. We've traveled to the Victory Park in Minsk. There was the exhibition of military equipment rather impressive i must say a lot of people gathered around some of the famous military machinery children were allowed to get inside or on top of them that's actually one of the things i don't like about such celebrations immense amount of people though this year there was a smaller amount of them compared to the previous years Some of the most famous war songs were played. Живая память нас ведет в далекий сорок пятый год. Июньский день, но хмурым было небо. Undoubtedly, my favorite part of the Victory Day is the firework. They are the most spectacular. This year, I came close to them. Before that, I watched them from afar. The sound was so loud that the birds were flying in panic and people were mesmerized by the scenery. Normally, the fireworks are fired from five or six parts in Minsk at 11 p.m. and they last for five minutes. So we are going to the Minsk Sea today. So it's not a typical location for my channel, but I wanted to show a, a very famous, one of the famous spots in our country. So Minsk Sea is not actually the sea in our country. So um, that's like a huge lake that we have here, but just because it's so big, we call it the Minsk Sea. I went there with my best friend Dmitri and our mutual friends Alex, Victoria <laughs> and their son Timothy. Just because the Minsk Sea is outside the city, we started our journey from the railway station that took us there in approximately 20 minutes. The railway station is one of my beloved places in Minsk. It's very beautiful from the inside.
As usual, I wasn't prepared for the trip. I thought that the weather would be really cold and that I wouldn't get the chance to to walk barefoot. That's why I didn't take the slippers, but Victoria was so kind, so she gave hers. This trip was a total relaxation for me. I didn't step into the water because it still was bitterly cold, but I was enjoying the scenery for hours. Timothy was playing with water all the time, totally immersed into his own world and detached from our adult conversations. We had a barbecue, we talked a lot, we enjoyed this time together because this period, the beginning of May, is the best time for this friend's reunion. While I was relaxing, my mom was sending numerous photos and videos of our garden. Just because the days became hotter, the garden started its total transformation and I do like watching this. That's why I always ask my mom to film the garden every single day. If you watched my previous vlog, so you can tell what has changed. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, goodbye!